Okay, guy, hello. How are you doing today? Can everyone hear me? Yes. All right, cool. Thank you. Yes, so, guys, yes. um, I hope everyone is doing okay. It's really nice to see you once again. So, um, well, we are about to finish this model, guys. This is like our 15th class and tomorrow is going to be our last class. Okay, so um, today and tomorrow is gonna be like the last two days that we are going to be in this video conference. And then, well, I was checking that some of you already complete the platform and that you got already your certificates, right? So congratulations to those that already got your certificates. And well, that's very good because you already have the first one, okay? Ya tenemos el primero y vamos por más, right? So- um, Thanks teacher. Okay, that's the attitude, very nice. So um, I'm so happy that you're here once again, guys. I hope you enjoyed your weekend, that you spend time with your family or probably if you like, to get some vacation, some of you, or if you're working, I do really appreciate the effort that you're putting on these classes. Um, so uh, before we start today's class, I'm going to ask you some questions regarding to the topic that we saw on, on Thursday, right? So um, what do you remember about Thursday class? This is a question in general for every one of you. Uh, hi, teacher. Hi. Hablamos de los presentes continuos, present continuos. Yeah, we talk about present continuous. Did we talk specifically about something? Uh, who, what, when. All right. Where, okay. why. All right, very cool. So uh, let me ask you a question, guys, in general. How do I form the yes or no questions in present continuous? Can someone tell me the formula? Yes. Mm -hmm. What's the formula? The WH uh, as a how, what, and those ones, mm -hmm. and the Verb to be, mm -hmm. subject, uh, verb ing, and the complement and the question mark. All right. Are those the yes or no questions? This is a question in general, guys. This is not only for Juan Fernando. This is for every one of you. What or how do we form the yes and no questions? in present continuous, how do we create them? Any idea? El, solo el presente continuo sin usar las, las de quién, cómo, cuándo. Ajá. Es, entonces es eh, to be. Ajá. So, eh, subject. Ajá. Eh, eh, El, el verbo más el ing. Yes, correct. Y, la, y, el, y el signo de interrogación. That pues. question mark, yes, that's very important. So, uh, well, that, that's actually true, Elizabeth, because that's the way we create a yes or no question. What Fernando said, it was not necessarily a yes or no question, that was the type of questions where we give a complete answer, right? Do you remember that? Yes. Yes. La respuesta corta, I am, no, I am, no. Yes, we can give the, the short answers in that one in the yes or no questions. Um, but, but yes, that's right. So can, let me see. No, I'm going to ask someone. Maricela, can you give me an example of a question, of a yes or no question?
Well, I think Maricel is not there actually. So let me see, uh, Carla Flores, are you there? Hi, teacher. Hello, can you give me an example of a, uh, of a yes or no question using obviously the present continuous? Mm. No remember teacher in este momento. I'm sorry, what did you say? No recuerdo en este momento, teacher. Okay, let me see. What about you, Teresita? Do you remember? No, teacher. Oh my God. So no body remembers? Yes. No. Yo no estuve en la clase, pero este, creo que para hacer una pregunta en presente con Twin, no, ¿verdad? Eso yes. está preguntando. A yes or no question. Una Un pregunta example. de sí o no. Yes. Ah, podría ser. What? What? No. Are... No. 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 Así. No. no. No, porque ese, eh, eso es algo que aprendí del profesor en la práctica. Este, cuando ponemos what o who o when, no podemos responder con no o sí. No se puede responder con una respuesta corta. Excellent. So there you have it. Ah, ok. Sí, so, yo, yo como no es, me perdí esa clase, la verdad, me perdí. Ok, no, no problem. I remember that you explained to me that you were not going to be there because you were Pero working. gracias a la compañera porque me aclaró. Yes, so thank you so much, Elizabeth. So, con lo que dijo Elizabeth, necesito que alguien me dé una respuesta. So, how or can you guys give me an example of a yes or no question? May I? Yes, go ahead. Are you my friend? Okay, that was that that was that's that's a yes or no question, but um uh, you yes. are you're not necessarily oh, okay. using the present continuous. I need to use the present continuous. Yes. Do you remember that we saw yes or no questions with the yes, present yes. continuous? Are oh. you listening to music? Are you listening to music? Yes, I am. That will be, but that's very good. So there we have an example. Okay, what happened with the other ones? ¿Qué pasó con los demás? Otra sería, are you cooking? Are you cooking? Yes, I am. Or no, I'm not. Okay. So, are you, are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Very good. Thank you so much. She is so, swimming. Say it again. She is swimming. Esa es una oración porque tienes el she antes. ¿Cómo la harías esa misma una pregunta? Is she sitting? Exactly. Why? Because we just move the verb be at the beginning, lo movemos al inicio, and we do it, we keep it in the same way. Thank you so much. So um, I think that we we got we got clear that idea. So let's continue with that. Okay. So let me ask you the last question because we're going to start. Um, can I use contractions, guys, with the WH questions? Plus the verb be, can I make them in the contracted form? Is that possible? Es posible? To contract? Yes. Can you give me an example? No, no se puede. We cannot, Nidia? No. La R no se puede. Sí se puede. No, en R no, en is. With is we can. In some we... places, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, but I but I see that some of you are paying attention. That what it I mean. That what it matters. Okay. So uh, and the uh, well, that was the last question actually. And uh, well, today we're going to start with today's class, guys. And um, well, I consider that most of you already know a little bit about it. 
and it probably it's not gonna be that complicated for some of you. For other ones, probably it's going to be like something new or new information, but today it's going to be like part of grammar, parte de gramática, let's say it like that, and part of like practice, right? Because today we're going to learn about the time. So today we're going to learn how to ask someone about the time. Today we're going to learn how to use like the clock. We're going to like use once again the numbers. And uh, well, that's what we're going to have for today's class. So just, just let me share the screen. And all right, there we have it. So as it says there, for today we have the time and we're going to learn its use, su uso, okay? So um, it's like practicing grammar at the same time, as I said, because we gotta be really careful. Sometimes we think, pensamos que estamos diciendo algo in, in a right way, but it might not be like correct. So let's continue and I will need, uh, let me see, one, two, three volunteers at this moment. Yeah. Hey, teacher. Okay, Nivia, we got Nivia number one, we got <laughs> Luis number two, and any other one? Yep. Teresita number three. So go ahead. Okay, uh, the common question forms we use to ask for the time right now our okay what time is it mm -hmm. or what is the time uh -huh. thank you so much number two a more polite why to ask for the time especially especially from a stranger is could you tell me time please okay thank you so much now for the number one guys as you can see there those two questions that we have over there, let me, let me put the here there. Let me see. Those two questions that we have here, those two are the most common ones, son las más conocidas, that we ask to someone, que le preguntamos a alguien, in general, conocidas. We say, what time is it? Or what is the time? So we have those two that are the most common ones that we can ask to anybody on the streets, in your house, at work, at school, in the university. That's the most common one. But in number two, it says a more polite way to ask for the time, especially from a stranger. So this question that we have here in number two, it's only used, solamente utilizada, de forma educada. That's why it says there, por eso dice ahí, polite, educada, forma educada, to ask someone that you do not know, alguien que usted no conoce, un extraño. Sí, usted ve en la calle y le pregunta, could you tell me the time, please? Could you tell me the time, please? Podría decirme la hora, por favor? Yes, so that's more polite, like more professional, like, like your education, you know, like something like that. So number three, Teresita. The common question forms we use to ask at what time a specific event will happen are, are what time, when, what time, does the fight to New York live? Mm -hmm. And when does the bus arrive from London? Mm -hmm. When does the concert behind? Okay, so in number three, guys, as you can see, we have two. Tenemos dos preguntas también. We have what time and when. That we are going to ask these two questions when we, are, when we have a specific event, right? Well, for example, that we're going to, to a wedding, that we're going to a party, that we're going to, you know, to have a meeting with someone, some specific events. We have 
What time does the flight to New York leave? A que hora sale el vuelo a New York, right? Number two, when does the bus arrive from London? In number three, when does the concert begin? So in these cases, when we want to know the time for a specific event, we use these two questions, what time and when. So we just got to remember these questions. They are not difficult. They are not difficult to, to remember. I mean, they are very easy. And these two that we have in number one, they are the most common ones. So do not complicate yourselves that much and uh, just try to use what time is it. Only if only there's a stranger, a young extraño, right? and you ask the time, that's the only way when we are going to use, could you tell me the time, please? All right, so let's move on. Here we have another information. So I would need, uh, let me see, Juan Fernando's participation and Omar. So Juan Fernando is gonna be number one and Omar is gonna be number two. Say, say the hour first and then the minutes. Hour plus minutes. Mm -hmm. It's 6.25. Mm -hmm. It's 8.05. Uh, the, old, the old said like, uh, sorry, uh, the O is said like the letter O. Mm -hmm. I think that maybe could be the zero. Yeah, it's exactly. Like exactly. That's that's what I said when we saw the numbers that Americans they prefer to say the the number zero. They do not say zero. They prefer to say O. Oh. Okay, it's nine eleven. Mm -hmm. It's two thirty four. All right. Thank you so much. As you can see, guys, in number one, we have first uh, the hour and then the minutes. That's the most common one that we have in El Salvador, right? In El Salvador, if someone asks you, what time is it? You are going to say, um, what? For example, right now we say 8.17, that's it. Yes, that's the most easy, that's the easiest one. Es la forma más fácil de decirlo, right? Like, la hora y los minutos. And the most complicated one, and sometimes a little bit confusing, is the part that we have in number two. Let's go, Omar. Okay. Oh, it's kind of... Say kinda... the mean first. Uh-huh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, do you listen? Okay. Uh, say the mean mm -hmm. first. First mm -hmm. and then the hour, mm -hmm. minutes, mass plus o two, mm -hmm. mass o plus hour mm -hmm. for minutes. The luno the ah one, Omar, how do we say the luno al trenta in English? To <laughs> to thirty. Okay. Do Teddy, we use fast after the minus mm -hmm. for minutes thirty one uh fifty nine. Mm -hmm. We use two after the minus. Okay. For example, it is twenty five. To three, mm -hmm. it is it is twenty past to eleven. Mm -hmm. Um, it is eighteen past four. Mm -hmm. It is nine 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 to nine. Mm -hmm. It is. One, two, three. Yes, excellent. 
So this one, as I said, guys, this number two, it might be a little bit complicated and confusing, right? Because we need to remember when to use past and when to use to. But actually, it's not that complicated. I mean, we just have to remember, right? For example, it says, del minuto uno al minuto treinta, we are going to use la palabra past. We have the example right there. Si yo quiero decir las once y veinte, como uno llegado al treinta, yo digo, it's twenty past eleven. Es como que lo traduciera, son veinte pasada las once. Yes? That's the most familiar, like the most similar meaning that we could give to that. So, Teacher, yes. Um, pero fíjese que en el examen, en ocasiones nos aparecía, digamos, 20, 35. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's the first. Esta es la primera, la que ya vimos, la opción número uno. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. So now we're going on the number two. So we're starting from, from minutes. Del minuto 31 a 59, we use the, the preposition to. See, we have the example number one that says, is 25 to three. Es como que yo diga, 25 minutos a las tres. Yes. So uh, what I advise you or a tip that I can give you is that to try to practice those because they might be a little bit complicated, but um, honestly, honestamente, Americans, they prefer, ellos prefieren utilizar, um, they prefer to use, oh my God, I'm sorry for my background, guys. That's me, that's, that's a dog over there. I really don't know what's going on outside. That's, that's my microphone, Luis, actually. And, uh, oh my God, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> my deepest apologies for that. No, I mean, it's okay, but that's the background noise over there. Like those dogs are barking, I don't know. But I mean, it's not something that I can control, but let's move on. So, um, um, well, we just have to try to practice this form, but Americans, they love using, <laughs> They love using number one. They prefer to use number one. So because that's the easiest, it's el más fácil, right? They do not like to complicate their lives that much. But if you want to sound like very professional, like, you know, like a teacher, like a doctor, like a president, like a vice president, you can use the form number two. Pueden utilizar la, form, la forma número dos. To sound very professional. Para que cuando usted le pida la hora, suene bien profesional, ¿verdad? Y le digan la 11 y 20, oh, it's 20 past 11, okay? So it sounds like, like professional than the first one because the first one is like really easy, like really simple to do. So uh, is there any questions so far, guys? No, teacher. All right. So let's move on. And uh, let's. Gracias por la aclaración, teacher, porque realmente en, en la plataforma mm -hmm. no se explicó de esta manera. Oh, really? Eh, eh, este, uh, el tú y el past. ¿Cómo es el, el past? Sí, ese. El tú y el past, porque este, incluso cuando hice, no sé si fue, el, sí, en el examen también salió, este, estaba que había que encontrar las dos formas de decir la hora y estaba el tú y el past juntas entonces oh, ay, me confundí okay. un poquito me confundí un poquito pero al mismo tiempo es, es como un poquito de lógica mm -hmm. pero gracias por la explicación teacher, okay. porque, si no... yeah, teacher gracias, es cierto but because in the platform no no are the explication oh eh, yes, estaba lo que usted acaba de explicar solo estaban las dos formas y and and that's it. Yeah, I know. I, I understand that. But I mean, you know, um, sometimes platforms, because they are technology, son tecnología, and they are like programs, son como programas, right? 
So we cannot control, no podemos controlar como 100% all the information because that's part of the technology. But that's why we have the reins for the reinforcement. Es por eso que tenemos el refuerzo acá, right? So that you can, what you saw in the platform, if you did not understand 100% lo que estaba en la platform, venimos acá, we listen to that, and then we clarify any doubt. Si, ¿Sí? alguna duda aquí la, la, la tiramos, si ¿Sí, ya, we, we understand, right? So, um, incluso, this was, um, some of you probably, uh, at any certain time, alguna vez se preguntaron quizás qué significa el AM y el PM. So today we're going to learn that. So AM means after midnight. See, ¿Sí? in English, AM significa after midnight. In PM, past morning. Past morning. Yeah, past morning. So those are the meanings of AM and PM. So um, we have here, for example, uh, well, we gotta be really careful with these guys porque generalmente nosotros a los relojes a todos le queremos decir clock. But le llamamos clock solo al reloj de pared. ¿Sí? Solo al que usted tiene en la pared. A ese le decimos, okay, that's a clock. But if you want to say el reloj que usted usa en su mano, we have two, two ways, yeah. dos formas. We say rest rest watch or solamente le decimos watch. watch. Sí? And automatically, Americans are going to understand that when you say watch, y esto puede ser un poco difícil para ustedes porque watch también es un verbo que lo utilizamos para qué? Para ver, para yeah. decir ver televisión, watch TV, watch, watch movies, watch todo aquellos eh, dispositivos o cosas que tengamos Eh, valga redundancia verlas en algo so we say watch so wow. mm -hmm. is there any question uh, but in that case maybe could be a weekend difference or yes we can uh, make the difference when we or everything depends on the context right yeah of course that's obviously every single time um, I mean, every single time, that's why I, I tell you every single time, pay attention to the context because the context is going to be your answer key. See, ¿Sí? el contexto va a ser que lo, lo que le va a dar la respuesta. Porque a veces nos preguntamos, hey teacher, pero ¿cómo voy a usar esto? No se preocupe, el contexto le va a dar cuando usted lo va a utilizar y cuando no. Y ahí, vámonos, ¿verdad? Vámonos para módulo dos, okay? So, um, those are the difference, guys. So, Teacher, no, yes. si no se pueden acordar de que mm -hmm. para diferenciar, ¿verdad? El, el, ese verbo, mm -hmm. la, aquí la mayoría de veces, aquí en El Salvador, para ver algo, decimos guache. Yeah, exactly, yes. Entonces, para diferenciar, ¿verdad? Para ver un, un ejemplo, watch, or de ver. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes. Aquí tenemos esa mala costumbre de decir watch. Yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, y, y pues esas son prácticas que cada, cada quien hace, ¿verdad? Para relacionar cosas de otro idioma con nuestro propio idioma. And that's very good. Why? Porque así podemos relacionar y se puede hacer una forma más fácil. It, it can be a little bit easy. So, once again, Clock, it's the one that you have on the wall. See, ¿Sí? el que tenemos en la pared, and wristwatch or watch is the one that you use in your hand. Okay. So, a las manijas del tiempo también le llamamos hands of the clock, manos eh, como o manijas del, del reloj. So, we say hands of the clock. So, uh, that's not too much difference. So let's move on with that. And here we have like a very detail. Aquí tenemos como bien explicado, okay? So where to use to, like, um, like most of the time, generalmente, eh, um, para decir y 15, nosotros también lo, lo usamos en El Salvador y decimos, oh, las cinco y cuarto, las ocho y cuarto. 
The same happens in English. In English, we say a quarter. Quarter. Yeah, a, a quarter. So that, that same happens in English. We say quarter or you can say 15 minutes. Si, ¿Sí? usted puede decir, son las 8 y 15, 8, 15. So it doesn't matter. Or you can say, how, how you can say 8 y 15? Vamos a ver. 8.15. 8, 8.15, uh -huh. 8, ok. Esa es la más fácil. Let's go with the number two. Con una más complicada. ¿Cómo diríamos 8 y 15? 15 past 8. 8. 8. 15 past 8, 8 or a quarter, a past, quarter 8. past 8. Excellent. Very good. I understand that, that, that that's like kind of like, that's why I told you it's kind of complicated or, or difficult to remember. But as long as we practice it, tanto como lo practiquemos, so we are going to, to improve that, okay? So with this information at this moment, guys, oh, well, actually, this is another part. Um, in English, para decir media hora, we can say 30 minutes, 30 minutos, but we can also say half, see? ¿sí? Half, la palabra por sí sola significa mitad. Pero when we are using it according to the time, cuando lo usamos de acuerdo al, de acuerdo al tiempo, es media hora, ¿sí? The word by itself, la palabra por sí solita, significa media o mitad. ¿Sí? So we, we use it on the time and we say half past, you know, half past eight, half past uh, two, and so on and so on. So... With this information be, being said at this moment, is there any questions so far? Mm. No questions no, at all? No? No. All right. Okay. Very good. So let's move on. Here we have some examples like, what's the time? What's the time? Or, ¿cómo es la otra? What time is it? What time is it? Que es la más común. What's the time or what time is it? Those are the two questions, like the common ones. How do we say, vamos a ver, let me see. Let me see, let me verify. Uh, Maricela, are you there? Yes. All right, so what's the question that we ask to someone like, very polite when we do not know that person. What's the question that we ask? Uh, can you tell me what time is it? Can you tell me what time is it? Or can you tell me what's the time? Very good, thank you so much. So here we have some examples. What's the time? It's five past two. What's the time? It's four o'clock. So guys, another thing. We use o'clock, utilizamos la palabra o'clock, cuando queremos decir como las, la una en punto, las cuatro en punto, dos en punto. Sí, every single time. Sí, si yo le pregunto qué hora son y me quiere decir las ocho, no solo me va a decir it's four. No, you gotta say it's four o'clock, cuatro en punto, four o'clock, okay? So let's move on. And another example is right here. What's the time? It's a half past nine. What's the time? It's 25 to 11. So uh, no questions, guys? All right. So here we have not a practice because, uh, well, actually, this is a practice. What, are you, what, what I want you to do, guys, is to write in your notebook, in sus cuadernos right now. This is a practice for right now. So there you have the time, see? Ahí va a estar la pantalla. I want you, I will give you, let me see, five minutes, cinco minutos. Man, that's too much actually, but I will give you five minutes to complete this part, para completar esta parte. No quiero que se vayan por el más fácil, ¿sí? Vamos a usar todos opción número dos, es decir, pass and two. See? So let's do it right now. A partir de ahora, we have five minutes. Okay? Then after that, I need everyone to send me your screenshot or your picture 
to the WhatsApp group, okay? Everyone, do it right now, please. Can you see the clocks? Can, like, can you see the time or the lines? Mm, yes. All right, cool. So. Ah, solo una pregunta. Eh, yes. Siempre me confundo con las horas. ¿Cuál es la que da la hora? La pequeñita. Yes. La pequeñita, okay. las horas, and the long one, the minutes. Okay, thank you. Ya nos quedan cuatro. Four minutes. When you finish, please say finished. Okay, so I can notice who already finished. Por ahí algunos se ve un mazón, verdad, saliendo de ahí de sus cabecitas ahorita, vaina. Yes. All right, so we got three minutes. Okay, we got two minutes. Okay, I already received the Luis Arevalos one. Uh huh. Okay, I already received Carla's, I already received Fernando's. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will receive Nivia. Okay, let me see one, two, three, four. So I'm still missing four more people. Todavía me faltan. Okay, I already got Elizabeth. I got Omar's. Well, I just got Omar's, just one. Oh, okay, got it. All right. Okay. All right. So um, some of you were are actually correct, but you're still missing the verb be and the personal pronoun it. Remember that when we're talking about the time, cuando hablamos del tiempo, we are always going to use the personal pronoun it plus the form of the verb e of the verb be it right it is or the contracted form it's but the majority of you are actually okay let me see it's one o'clock all right it's 20 20 20 persons who's this who got who is al Oh, Alejandra, I guess. All right. So let me see. Um, la número uno ni se la voy a preguntar, ¿verdad? Because that's too easy. So let me see. Uh, Elizabeth, what you got on number two? This one right here? Yes. Tell me your answer. What's the answer? E it is uh, 10 past of 12. 
10 past 12. Very nice. Let me see Omar. Hello, sir. Hello, teacher. Number three, please. What do you have on number three? Um, it is 20 to six. It's 20 to six. Excellent. Carla Flores, number four. It's 10 minutes for three. It's 10 minutes to four or two. Um, ahí es donde me confundo. No sé si es two or es four. We do not, we do not use, um, I mean, the most common one or el gram grammatically correct, it is two. It's two. It, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but that's okay. That's okay. The idea, I at least you got the idea. Okay. 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 That's very good. All right. Thanks. So now let me see Nivia, number one. Estos son otros, okay? Ten to half. Half, half, la media hora. Ajá. Ten, half, half, o'clock? No. Ay, la otra palabra se me olvidó. Okay, any idea? Alguien más que quiera ayudar a Nibia? Which one? Number one. Pero no la forma fácil, sino la dos. Past two or which one? Mm, no, this one, number one. Yes. Estos, uh, uh, these, these ones are not the same that you did. Sí, este. Maybe uh, ten and a half. We can say ten and a half, or we can say it's a half it's, past, it's half past ten. It's half past ten. Okay, thank you so much, Luis. Now let's go, uh, Elisa. No, Carla Flores. Carla Flores, number two. It's twenty to three. It's 20 to three. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. Teresita, number three. Ay, profe, ahí, este, sí como que me cuesta un poquito ya así a la hora de decir la hora, lo más difícil. Um, just try, just solo trata. Let's just try, just to verify, okay? Lo que se venga a tu mente right now. Five to pass. It's five, nine. five past. Nine. Nine. There you uh -huh. go. Excellent. Okay. Let me see. Um, Luis, number four. It's a quarter past eight. A quarter past eight. All right. So I think that that's. That's not difficult for you. So now, as long as we practice, tanto como practiquemos, so it's going to be like easier for you to do it. So guys, now we're going to go to the practice. And today we also have conversations. We have two conversations actually. So please try to take a picture or a screenshot if you have your phone over there, because today we're going to have practices with the conversations, okay? All right, so just let me know when you're done so I can move to the yes. next one. Yes? Solo, yes, solo yes. Pedirle que apartar el puntero. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm Thanks. Sorry. <laughs> I knew you were going to ask that. Okay, is it done? Yes. All yes. right, here's number two. Guys, if you do not know how to pronounce a word, si alguien no sabe cómo pronunciar una palabra y su compañero la sabe, ayúdele. Sí, ayúdense entre ustedes. So everyone can say the words correctly, okay? So 
because we still have like 15 minutes and two conversations, I consider that that's like, you will still have some time. So there we go with these ones. Okay, are we done? Yes. All right, very good. So let's go. We are. Empezamos siendo 25, ¿verdad? Y terminamos eight. But I mean, everyone is here. Like, let me see. No. Let's see. Four. Pensaron que no iba a haber clases, teacher. Oh, they did? But sí. I, remember, I remember I said that, that we were going to have classes today. Recuerdo que dije de, sí, 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 that sí, we sí, were having dije. classes. So probably they forgot it. So let me just try to move these people over here. Okay, let me see. Okay. All right, so now let's try to join your groups and please try to make the conversations i will be checking What time is he? We are going to be Learn for the party. It's a quarter past six. We are on time. Don't worry, we will be fine. Okay, they say. But say. Good. But, but I tell we had to to be as. Sara House, the um, six, 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 thirty, thirty, six, thirty, uh -huh, for her surprise birthday party. I think never my kids as there is a lot of rush hour traffic this evening. Sure, we will. We are not far away now. Anyway, the anyway. party start at seven o'clock, but I do need help with where to park the car. For her surprise builder, builder party. I think never make it uh, as there is a lot of rush or traffic this evening. Sure, we will. We are not far away now. Anyway, the party starts at seven, but I do need help with where to park the car so Sarah doesn't can your phone her husband and asking where is the best to park our car? Okay, I will phone him him now. Bye. Ya voy a compartir la otra. 
Eh, solo una aclaración, creo que donde es Husband es Husband. Husband. Ajá. No es Husband, es Husband. Tienen la segunda. Sí, ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ok. Empezamos um, otra. Yo soy Tony. Ok, bye, sigo yo. Ok. ¿Qué uh -huh. time it is now? It is midnight. Ok. Please wake me up at six o'clock. Wow, why will you wake up so early? I have a meeting tomorrow morning. What time is your meeting? Para que, para que más o menos este, ustedes ya vayan relacionándose con cuando hacen una pregunta, ¿verdad? Yo, es un consejo, ¿verdad? Que yo, les doy. yo por eso a veces eh, cuando veo que es una pregunta trato de hacerla como el sonido de pregunta. No sé si. Ok, gracias. Uh -huh. para, para que vayan ustedes familiarizando con, con, los, con las interrogaciones, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Resolvemos la otra? Sí. Yes o no? Yes. Yes, yes. Ok. Wait a moment, please. And this moment. Ok. Bueno. Eh, vamos a ver. Vaya. ¿Sería Carla Flores? Sí.
see the alarm. Ah, esa sí no sé cómo sería. Alarms. Oh, alarm. 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 Mm -hmm. alarm. Solo que no logro leer esa. Eh, me la subes un poquito, Omar. Un poquito. No, súbela, 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 súbela. Dice, I did, I did, I did. I did but you didn't. And you did. Wake up. Didn't. You yeah. didn't wake up. Didn't wake up. Uh -huh. Hurry up. Uh, this Hurry, is up. It. Hurry up. Hurry up. Mm, now you will have to drive fast. Sí, así sí. era. Sí, sí así. Sí. Ah, yo la podía mover acá. <risa> bueno, <risa> ya terminamos esta. Seguimos con la siguiente. Ok. Se nos acaba el tiempo. Next, No, es, no estoy en laptop, estoy ah. en, en mi teléfono. Ay, perdón. Bueno, no, no hay problema, no te preocupes. Don't worry. Bueno, ya sabemos que es 20 past one. Bye. Sí. Digamos, sigamos la otra. Es 9.55. Three of five to ten. Uh-huh. Five to ten. Correct. Five to ten. Okay, guys, very good. So I was checking some of you while you were speaking or well, while you had the conversation and it was actually really nice. I mean, some of you have a really nice pronunciation and um, I don't know if that's only my impression, but I have seen that some of you are able to understand a little bit more Uh, like when I'm speaking in English. So I don't know if you have noticed, but I have tried, he tratado de hablar li like less Spanish and more English. And I see the most of you, algunos de ustedes ya se están acostumbrando a eso, so that's very nice. And I also have heard that some of you got a really nice pronunciation. That's awesome, actually. Algunos de ustedes saben pronunciar muy bien, se les escucha muy bien. Para que estemos en módulo uno, well, that's amazing, all right? So, um, see you tomorrow, guys. 
This is going to be all for today. See you tomorrow at the same time. And remember, it's our last class. I'm pretty sure that um, les van a decir en el grupo que el último día no falta, verdad? Because they take like uh, like a screenshot of or like your attendance or asistencia. En los últimos dos días es como que más, más contado, verdad? So um, they are taking like some notes regarding to that. So that's going to be all for today, guys. And see you tomorrow at the same time by the same channel, ok? okay. So, okay. Sí, yo tengo una pregunta. Ok. Eh, con, respecto, eh, con respecto al certificado que, están, que estaban subiendo, yo yes. intenté todo el día ver cómo descargarlo, pero no me aparece la, la opción para eh, descargarlo en la plataforma. ¿Y qué es lo que te aparece cuando entras? ¿Te aparece? O sea, yo entro mensaje? en la plataforma okay. y. Vaya, ¿y cómo se llama? Y como dice que tiene que ser donde está el progreso, uh -huh. ahí aparece la opción, ¿verdad? Decía ahí las indicaciones. Yes. Pero no, no, no encontré la opción ni en mi teléfono ni en la computadora. Es que hay algunos que le parece como usted es inscrito en el curso como asistente. Ajá. Entonces, cuando te aparece eso, te tienes que comunicar directamente con la persona que te hizo el primer contacto. Sí, y... lo, lo bueno. Ah, no, no hice eso. Lo hice con la persona que subió el mensaje ese día. Bueno, ahí, ahora en la noche, bueno, ayer en la noche lo, le mandé el mensaje, me, me contestó hoy. Dijo que iba a solucionar eso, pero no me ha dicho nada aún. Eh, so let me, let me check that. Can you please send me your email? Puedes enviarme tu email, nombre completo por un mensaje para yo también subir... Eh, eso a, a, a las notas y practicar directamente con ellos para que te resuelvan okay. porque vi que la mayoría de ustedes ya lo tienen, si no, si no estoy fallando, no sé si todos los que están acá ya lo tienen yes okay. yes ok, very good, so it's only you Nidia, the one that okay. doesn't have it at this moment, uh -huh. so please send me that information through a text message So I can do that right now and you can have an answer tomorrow, okay? So please. So that's going to be all for today, guys. Thank you so much for being here and have a good night, okay? Good okay. night, teacher. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye, teacher.